All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at opening up our pool pretty soon. And what I want to do is reclaim that water on top of the pool, put it inside underneath the cover and save some water. Do it all off grid, off solar power. So stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And I got about a good five or six inches of water on top of this pool cover. This uh, video is part of the pool series where I'm doing uh, the off-grid pool and I'm excited to open this pool up soon, but I uh, gotta get the cover off. And I figured I'd reclaim some of this water. This water was actually perfectly clear last weekend and this week it's starting to turn a little bit. I think the leaves and some of the uh, things in the water are starting to decompose, so it's starting to uh, get some allergy and so forth. But uh, I wanna go ahead and pump this off. I have two options. I can pump directly the water into the pool or I can pump it to the off-grid rainwater system and then pump it back. If I go to the off-grid rainwater system, I could treat the water, put shock in it, and then pump it back out into the pool. The thing is, I'm gonna be shocking the water anyway when I take off the pool cover. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the water from the top of the cover and put it into the pool. Now definitely be sure to check out my other videos on the channel on the off-grid rainwater system. So I primarily collect this rainwater to go ahead and top off our pool, keep it filled up in the summertime. I wanna show you the equipment I use to transfer the water from the IBC tote into the pool. Now I have a small little bilge pump here. It's a Seaflow 500 gallon per hour. And I've wrapped it up with some uh, pantyhose. I promised my wife would not talk about pantyhose or make any type of joke about this. Son, you got a panty on your head. This works pretty well. The panty holes is obviously the screen. I don't want to suck up all the junk that's inside that water. So I'm going to filter the water from here. And I'm using this three-quarter hose. If you've never seen this before, this is uh, actually pretty familiar on the farms locally. This is three-quarter inch uh, milk hose. This is what they use when they milk cows. And it's pretty rugged. You don't want to leave this stuff outside because it will break down. It's not UV resistant. But... Uh, I'm usually taking it in and out whenever I have to fill up the pool. So this actually works really well. It's pretty sturdy and it's uh, also very flexible. We're gonna power that bilge pump by our 100 watt solar panel. All I need to do now is plug it in. Whenever you use a solar panel with a device, you wanna make sure you fuse it. And I have a, a small 10 amp fuse right here for the solar panel. So the other thing we don't wanna do when we're connecting a solar panel to a device is I don't wanna connect it when it's under load and obviously on the panels out in the sun. So I could cover the panel, but if I just actually stand in front of the panel, I'm gonna block out enough of the sun where it's just not making a lot of power. So we're all set to go there. Let's go ahead and see what happens if the pump turns on. Not sure if you can see this, but we have 19 volts coming in and about 12 or 13 watts running that pump. All right, so the pump is running here. Let's go ahead and put it in the water. Start sucking some water out here. Priming right now, water's going through. All right, so we got water flowing. I think it's pretty much that easy. Just have to keep moving the pump over towards the middle of the pool, get that water off. See the water here. Pretty good flow rate coming out. Can't complain, powered by the sun. Gotta make sure I don't stand in front of that solar panel. That's the worst of my troubles. It's a pretty good day. All right guys, so there we go. That's how we get the water off the top of our pool cover uh, for reclaiming some of that water. The rest of the water will probably reclaim off the rain system. I'll start collecting now. Now that we know that uh, probably won't have any more cold weather and freezing temperatures, so we're pretty much safe to go here, pretty much when we get to the end of April and so forth. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and definitely come on back for more pool videos, especially as we get closer to opening up the pool and running it off-grid, using the off-grid solar power shed system. If you haven't seen that series of videos, go ahead, check out my channel, and uh, pretty exciting. We can't wait to get this opened up and run this pool free and off-grid. All right, thanks for watching, take care.